So I guess you. I, so I guess YouTube's going to give me a lot longer format uh, to talk about the stack and why there's drives missing there and why there's a drive missing there and and how this all works. So uh, this is a Synology array. The bottom unit is a 3816, I believe. Uh, the top unit is the expansion bay for it. Um, that's entirely common. Uh, on the back end is InfiniBand. That's InfiniBand. That's InfiniBand. We've got uh, a lot of uh, Cisco equipment over there, which is actually tr providing uh, link interfaces to our network. Uh, that pink cable is a one gig is a ten gigabit line off to the main network. We have 10 gigabit host jacks on that side of that Cisco array. This is the old Synology. Hey, let's take a look. Hey, I actually have a camera that I can get in here and show you the back plane. So that's the back plane of a Synology array. Oh yeah, yeah, this one's four and a half years old. This thing's ancient. But that's the literal back plane, so you can see all the uh, fans and the SCSI adapters. And this thing's actually lived in my house through a remodel. And that's why there's a thousand times more dust in there than anyone needs to have in there. Okay, so let's come over and let's talk about what else is on the table besides some large Cisco boxes and some other crap. That's here. Uh, oh, we got a keyboard for a um, surface. So the SANS digital array. So the SANS digital array actually provided a interim host uh, capacity to be storage. And so it's loaded full of actually eight terabyte Western digital arrays. And if you don't believe me, I'll pull out another one. I'll pull out the third one. There's an eight terabyte Western digital array. So now you all have to believe me that that's the actual true stack here. Uh, and all those drives are just intermediary backups for that little box right there. And that little box was once again the backup to that fiber channel connected super box. Uh, that will change and it will drive us from having 64 tera of on-site local storage to having um, 160 terabytes, 160 terabytes of on-site local storage. Oh, blink. Come on. Come on, lights. Blink. Land lights, blink. Okay. Well, they don't want to blink, but hard drive... Hard drive lights. Anyways, so that that's that's what we're doing. Um, we're moving from that box over this box and this array, and uh, why? And why is is the question that everyone asks? Well, cameras like this uh, brand new Nikon that I can't actually talk about too much. Um, is uh, shooting in 4K. And we're shooting in 4K 30, 4K 60 with these cameras. And they take a lot of fucking bits to, uh, to archive. And uh, out of Synology, if any of you have ever dealt with having someone send you data, you know, across Dropbox or across something stupid like Google Drive or any of that crap, you know that, you know, they're going to run out of Dropbox storage or they're going to run out of uh, Google Drive storage instantly when they're trying to send you... In, in these cameras, we, we run a 256 gigabyte cards and two of them. And, and mostly, we do a mirrored storage, but in some of the times, we're actually running terabyte hard drives off a lot of this equipment. 
and we actually run physical terabyte hard drives, kind of like that, but not like that, because that's a piece of shit. Do not buy that. That's a dead drive. Um, and so every day that I'm on set and every day that I'm shooting something, we're pretty much taking in roughly somewhere between one terabyte to seven terabytes of data. And dealing with that takes a setup like this. It takes a setup and, and those, don't, don't worry, the hard drives from that Sans Digital, don't worry, they're, they're, they're going in there. Don't worry, those hard drives are going in there. Don't worry, it'll all be okay. Um, and, uh, didn't we have to share that with people? I have to share that video with Jerry. I have to share that video with Graham at Valera Media. I have to share that with Barnacles Nerdgasm. I have to share that video with CNN, who's a partner with me. Um, I have to share that video with NBC, MSNBC, who's also a partner with me, and having a an, an appliance like this that can handle, you know, dealing with what video is going where, how is that video going to time out, how long is that privilege going to last, how long is that privilege going to be accessible, um, and do I need to then set up, you know, systematic deletions or accountability for that video? Um, I can do that all inside of Synology software. So in, on all of their uh, hub software. So that's that's why we use Synology's like a religion around here. And, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Graham over at Valera Media, Jerry over at Barnacles Nerdgasm, and me, Kevlar Condom, we all use Synology drives to... Uh, make our lives a lot easier between, you know, sorting through cloud servers and cloud acquisition systems and things like that. You know, if we truly need to, I can actually give you FTP access to this box. If I need to, I can give you SSL connections to this box. If I need to, uh, have someone who truly knew something of what they were really doing. Um, they could be very, very privileged and given access to this box because they were trusted. You can't do that with Google Drive. You can't do that with Dropbox. You can't do that with anything. You know, and Synology gives us that opportunity. So... Oh, and there's some custom Han Solo artwork that's going to a friend of mine, um, Animus Moores, also known as Mike. You'll 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 hear a lot of talk when we get around PDX land and crap like that about Mike, because I fly his ass up here just just to deal with uh, him personally. But he he he's he's an offline character. But that that that's what we do. Um, that's why my dining room table looks like a hodgepodge of, uh, of, of Miss Toys and, uh, good night, YouTube, and good night, Internet, and, uh, have a good one.